tej chwili jestem tutaj z moim nowym kolegą JJ, right? Was that JJ's yeah, name? but yeah. what's your real name? You you got like a, like five names, right? Yeah, yeah. Real, Can you say it? Real South African, real Afrikaans boy. Uh -huh. uh, so my name is John Johan Johannes Jakubus Jakub van Wijk. <laughs> there you go, there you go. My name is David. Uh, David, I'm going to know, I'm going to know, I'm going to know. Okay, I'm going to go to my new uncle through the mountains, which are called Schwarzburg. Yeah, it's like a Pass. It's like a Schwarzberg, like in German. Yeah, so, yeah. so yes, Black Mountains. Yeah, Black Mountains, yeah. It's, the, it's because of its black color, mm -hmm. we got a name, and also it burns. I mean, there is a burn at the moment, uh, or fire, uh, caused by lightning. So, okay. Um, but yeah, that's how we got the name. JJ is Afrikanerem. Kto to jest Afrykaner i kim są Afrykanerzy? Afrykanerzy to są potomkowie Europejczyków, a głównie Holendrów, którzy tutaj przybyli w 1652 roku i tam, gdzie jest Kapsztat, założyli taką stację, która zaopatrywała statki, które płynęły do Batawi, czyli dzisiejszej Indonezji, a dokładnie Jakarty. Yy, Wiedzenie, wodę, zwierzynę i tak dalej. Także to był taki punkt postojowy. No ale później zaczęli się rozwijać, tworzyć farmy. I tak oto zaczęli powoli tworzyć naród Afrykanerów. I JJ mówi w języku Afrikans. To jest właśnie język, który oni stworzyli. Ten język jest bardzo ciekawy. To są naleciałości różnych języków, między innymi holenderski, francuski, niemiecki. Mają też naleciałości malajskie, bo tutaj było dużo malajskich niewolników, których właśnie sprowadzali ze swoich kolonii. No i tak oto oni stworzyli swój język i swój naród, czyli Afrykanerzy, tak się mówi na ludzi, białych ludzi, którzy zamieszkują RPA, a ich język to jest Afrikaans. Can you can you talk a little bit Afrikaans? So, we are now in Swartberg Pass. Okay. This is a very geschiedene path. So, Thomas Bain, this is the old man or the man who the path developed. In um, Gebouwet. So, uh, what I understand, uh, the yes. Thomas, uh, he's the one uh, who, who built that road, correct, right? Correct, correct, sir. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you because uh, <laughs> I learned uh, German, so yeah. it's like Dutch and German is. It's uh, a mix, uh, yeah, yeah, it's mixed. Afrikaans is 11 uh, languages put together pretty much. So, uh, so when you were at home yes. with your wife, with your family, yes. what language do you speak? Afrikaans. Just Afrikaans. Pure Afrikaans. I brought not Afrikaans. Yeah. yeah. So, your English didn't. It doesn't develop in Afrikaans culture. So you, you actually, they always make a joke. They say, uh, we use English as self-defense. <laughs> <laughs> because Afrikaans, we, Afrikaans, the real Afrikaans people, they can't speak uh, English properly. So yeah, um, so we're going to now, we're going to 900 meters above sea level. Okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to now, I'm going to now, 1580 meters above sea level. How many meters? So uh, 1,580 meters. meters yeah. Yes, that's how, how we're going to take you. Yeah, But the highest point of the mountain is around 2,200 meters above sea level. Oh, yeah, okay. So we get snow. Oh, you got snow? snow in winter. I wouldn't think uh, you can uh, receive snow in, uh, in South Africa. You know, when you hear Africa, you always think, it's always hot. sunny. It's hot. Always it's sunny hot. and yeah. beautiful. But it's cold. It's really cold in, in winter. But then, yeah, in, in summer, we get up to around 49 degrees Celsius, yeah. So our hot month 49? is coming. Yeah, our hot 49? Yeah, 49. Our hot month is coming now in February. That's our hottest month. But anyways, this is where we are now. We mm -hmm. are on the top of the mountain. You'll see okay. there's a sign that says the top. I'm going to stop here. Then so 1,580 uh, meters. 80 meters, 75 meters, yeah. 